Right, this old angle grinder is sounding a bit kind of kind of poppy when you first switch it on. Not sounding good and it kind of sounds to me as if the brushes are on their way out. So I think we're just going to have a quick look at this. Let's unplug it first. And I'm sure a lot of people just throw these things away when they pack up. They're cheap enough, I suppose. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, you could kind of afford to do that, but it seems a bit of a waste if they just need brushes. Oh, lots of dust in there, as you'd kind of expect. I sometimes think it's amazing that angle, angle grinders work considering the amount of filth they generate, which is, you'd think, bound to get into the works. Oh, look. <laughs> oh dear. I suppose a blowout with an air gun wouldn't hurt, but um, I haven't got any compressor at the minute. Compressors are off. Let's just do this. Hmm. Well, the armature doesn't look too bad, which is worth checking out, I guess. Because they will wear. Let's, let's, let's get this dust off the bench. Oh, no, it's still coming out of the grinder. Hang on a bit more. Is well down in its uh, in its groove. Oh my word! You know what? That might have even have gone worn out too far. This used to have a kind of a safety trigger in the brush itself, where there's a little spring-loaded part that would pop out and break contact and it doesn't look like these have got it in there because that has worn out so much. Wow, I can't get the damn thing out. Heck, maybe we will have to buy a new, new grinder. Hmm, let's have a look at the one on the other side. Come down a long way again. Um, didn't really want that spring hooked on there.
Well, we've got the brush out of that one. That's come out. And yeah, that's pretty well worn out. There's not a lot of life left in that. My gosh. Not a lot of life left in that at all. Wow. And there's the little... Oh no, it isn't. That is where it's actually... Where the braid is fixed in. Wow, that is so worn out. struggling to get the other one out on the other side. Well this brush is so wedged in there I think we're going to have to take the whole housing off. So I'll just drop that spring back in there. And that screw something I've never seen before. It's, I would say it's a, a Torx, smaller than that. A Torx and flat screwdriver combined, smaller than that one too. Maybe not. Wow, that is pretty titchy. Okay. Hmm. I'm assuming that this screw is what holds this whole brush thing in me box in position. And it doesn't want to budge. Hmm. Hey, okay. And there's a the brush. That is seriously worn out. It's worn down to where the the braid is pushed through. And what used to happen, I, I don't know why I kept this, this is an old one from which I'd replaced before. Oh, can we see that? Let's get that out of the way. Let's see if we can focus on this. I used to make them with these little plungers, spring loaded. Well, I suppose that's just a spring. And what would happen as soon as it wears back to that point, the spring pops through, pushes the brush off of the armature, and the motor stops. And that's kind of an indication that you were down to the wear limit on the brush. This one. It's way smaller than that. What's the other one I just took out? Actually, I think this is this one's worse than the one that's jammed in. That is really, really short. That's just amazing that this didn't pack up beforehand. And let's turn this over. Get the other one out. Oh, I've got to get the spring out. Right. No, not as worn out as the other one. But both very, very worn out. So, wonder, like I said, I wonder that the thing didn't pack up beforehand. So, let's get. Get that one out of the way. 
And I have some new ones. See how long these are? Way longer. New one, old style worn out one, and the one we've just taken out, and even worse, that one, doesn't help the motor when they start wearing at an angle either, although I suppose this is because it was kind of cocking over in the guide. So, right, let's get rid of those. Put the brush holder back in. Actually, I will put a brush in there and then I can that way, I think. I can put the spring on straight on top of the brush. So that I can get to the screw. That is not in. More like it. That's down. So look at that screw. We've seen a screw like that before. Wow, how high is that? Right up to the top of the, the housing. Put the connector back on there. Let's get a new brush in the other side. Back on. Lucky me. So, all back together. Ready for action. Rattly as ever, but uh, I think that's just coming from the gears, like always. 
Can't remember whether this is a Chinese one or a Russian one. Bosch, but um, yeah. <laughs>